Hey guys and girls, welcome to another Opcast. We're in Hawaii on a beautiful afternoon and I'm on with the beautiful Laura Enova, which I've actually changed her name recently to Crazy Girl. Laura, <laughs> welcome to the Opcast. I think like a lot of my friends and family have changed my name to that too. Yeah, they is... have. Eh? It was automatic when I saw you for the first time uh, uh, in Hawaii. I was like, Crazy Girl, because that, that wave you took off on in uh, at Jaws was just one of the biggest waves of the day and I was freaking out in the lounge room. <laughs> How was that for you and what made you want to take that wave? Oh, I mean, the whole, that those like three days of my life will seem like a blur. I, um, I literally got home from like doing the QS in Europe and just was invited to go, was like kind of like, I don't know if I will, but I'll go do breath training in, in case I do. And I just kind of figured it would be in January or February or something. And literally the next week they're like, green light, it's Done. on. And I literally like rolled around on my bed, like, oh, what are going? I'm going, I'm not, I'm going, yeah, I'm right. not. Like literally was like, I'm going. And then I'd like watch footage of Jaws. I was like, I'm not. And then I was like, <laughs> no, I watched another footage of like one of the girls, George, Jaws. I was like, I'm going. Yeah. And so um, I finally decided to go and uh, had no equipment. I borrowed Greg Long's board, Shane Dorian's uh, canisters and vest and um, impact suits. I literally had nothing and saw Jaws for the first time half an hour before my heat. How did it look? And it was fucking windy. windy. Windy? It was like way windier than I thought it was going to be and a lot bigger. And a lot bigger. Yeah, and the day before I had um, trained on one of Greg Long's boards. It was a 9.6 and it was... I, and did you surf train? It? No, I trained at her keeper because it wasn't big enough. Yeah, for right. I oh, see. So you just you rode a little her keeper. Yeah, on it, I, it was it. like eight foot her keeper, and we just rode the boards to get used to them. But then I ended up getting on a way bigger board because it was way bigger, and um, yeah. So I paddled out, and right before I paddled out, Ian Walsh was like, "Laura, listen to me. If you have any chance of catching a wave, you better go." And like, so those words were like resonating in my head, and. I don't know, I just saw that first lump pop up and... You said that's got my name on it? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I was like, I guess I could maybe catch this. I should probably try and paddled, even did like a double arm paddle because everyone was like, you need to do an extra paddle. And um, yeah, stood up, held up. The wind caught you. <laughs> the wind caught you. It was yeah. such, so much volume on the board and you haven't got a whole lot of weight. Uh, no. And it I... was just, you were going one way. Did you pull the vest before you landed? So, like, literally, I know, I, I didn't Let's even... Let's do Take us right to it. Please. <laughs> it's so funny because it wasn't until I, like, sat on the plane and I was, like, flying home with my bung knee and my yep. brother and I was like, oh, my gosh, like, I just want to tell you about the moment where I, when I realised I was going over the falls on a 20-footer. Like, I, I think I, it was like, bigger than that. <laughs> just quietly. I got, like, <laughs> I got blown off and I was, like, off the back of the wave and it just seemed calm and I was like, wow, mm. I think... I maybe got blown off the back and mm. then and then I just start feeling like the pool of me going over and I was like oh I'm going over now like get ready and then I literally just found my cord and and pulled it I heard on it like over. inflate on the way over yeah so I was like inflating my vest on the way over the falls and I literally just got like curled in a ball got exploded and exploded like straight back up oh you got spat out the back spat like I got pound like and counted just down spat just, straight out yeah, the back just straight That's crazy. up came up and there was like six jet skis there to get me yeah. and I like was in the exact same spot that I'd gone yeah, over. Right? Oh, yeah, it goodness. was like one of those. That's and crazy, you were lucky. I, the, I was lucky then, but the next wave that oh. I fell on, because yeah. I caught two waves of jewels and I fell on them both. Um, oh, no. Yeah, I probably stood up for like half a second altogether. Mm. Altogether both rides. <laughs> but yeah. Um, still got you to, to the final. It did, it still got me to the final, which was like the wildest thing I was like, <laughs> in the medic boat getting my knee looked at mm. and they were like are you gonna do the final i was like they can't be talking about me they were like yeah, right. yeah you made the final i was like oh you're like what no <laughs> uh, no i but actually if you did. weren't hurt you were uh, yeah. you were out there i really wanted to get away but i was like i'm mm. not gonna come all the way over here and not I, like i wanted to try but yeah. um i just couldn't in the end but it was my second my second wave that actually got hurt me your knee. yeah i hurt my knee on the that. wave you shared with um felicity, felicity yeah, yeah. So I hurt my knee on that wave and then ended up getting like the second wave of, and the third wave of the on set the on the head on that oh, one. Oh, the skis couldn't get you, to you? They couldn't get to me, so I just had to get them on the head. And, How um, was that? Are you, well, and did you pull your vest again? Well, I went to pull my vest, yeah. but like I couldn't figure out where the cord was the second oh, no. time. So, so you didn't use it? I just had to use like Nothing. good old like 
regular I'll breath hold. The regular breath hold. <laughs> yeah. And um, at that point, that's when like my breath hold training sort of came into play. Yeah. And I think I counted to just like 25 or 30 while I was just getting tum like tumbled in a ball under You got a breath before the second wave? Uh, yeah, I did. I got to yeah. come up and then got the next one. And, mm. uh, and I actually paddled to the channel after that. And oh. I was like, I got dropped oh. in the channel. And yeah. I was telling my brother, I was like, oh my gosh, I, my vest, I think it broke on the first one or something. Mm. And we ended up finding the cord and I pulled it and I just inflated myself <laughs> in the channel. <laughs> and like all the boys are just sitting there laughing at me going, oh, you no, just inflated that's hilarious. your vest in the channel. <laughs> like one minute, two minutes too <laughs> two late. Two minutes too late after I'd literally just been getting like rolled oh, so hilarious. deep on the inside, like practically on the rocks at Jaws. And, <laughs> and you get to the channel and just go. And <laughs> inflate it, yeah. So That's all time. That was my Jaws experience. You are a funny girl. <laughs> my goodness. There is 99% of guys in the surf that would not have been out there and even looked at that wave. So, yeah. Oh, thank you. I mean, I probably was just because I was going into it so blind, but I just really wanted to, to give it a shot. Yeah. And um, You've always, yeah. always liked big waves though, right? I have. I mean, growing up, I, I always felt really comfortable when it was bigger. And um, I don't know, I just, it's that challenge and adren like adrenaline rush, I think, that I love. I've always been a bit of a, a loony. I love mm. skydiving and all that sort of weird stuff. Mm. I wanted to get like skydiving license for a while, but <laughs> didn't work with the schedule. But <laughs> um, no, I've... I, you do. I mean, I've seen you charge waves at back door and off the wall. Yeah. And yeah. I've done a couple of like swell missions to Pee Pass and Yeah. Oh, yeah and so, I saw that too. Yep. Yep. But I've just been so lucky to have so many like great guys take me under their wing mm. and help me, which has been amazing. And like, they just all of, I think for the boys, it's like, if I go on a trip with them, they'll... Mm tell me to go on a bomb and if I mm. eat shit, I'll, that'll be funny yeah. <laughs> to them probably. And if I make it, it'll be cool. So <laughs> yeah, right. they're always like when I'm out yeah, in the lineup, it. telling me to go yeah. all the time and giving me waves, which is like, thank you guys so much. Yeah, oh, that's super cool. It's always good having girls in the, in the lineup in big ways. I mean, far out, I wouldn't but even yeah, be out there. Yeah. It's funny though, if like, we eat is. shit, you can laugh. It's like yeah. kind of funny, like, ah, like I'm and then stoked. And then there's full on looking after you yeah, too. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, but they are telling you to go, which is kind of a bit mean. <laughs> I know. Like, I think I went on a trip and Dusty told me to go on a wave and he like totally knew it was a closeout. Oh, and I just went yeah. anyway because I was like, I guess I'm going. Like, he told me to go and yeah, right. it was like a massive closeout. But <laughs> and, yeah, that's mean. That's very mean. <laughs> that is mean. So now, um, will that, will that, trusts. what's that? You know who I to said trust. I, know who I, tr I know who to trust now. And who is it? <laughs> it's pretty much like my brother and yeah. like, my friend Davy Cathels and Alex mm -hmm. Gray and Greg, like there's a Alex bunch Gray. of good Greg guys, Long. Greg yeah, Long, that yeah, have just yeah. always been helping out and stuff. Yeah. 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 So it's great that that's popped up, a women's um, event at Jaws. Is there any other big wave spots that they've talked about? Like I know Nazare has got a green light at the, oh, not a green light, but almost. Yeah. There's good women well, out there Well, they no? wanted to have the girls at Todos and even oh, Todos. Um, on the day when we're at Jaws, they were almost considering, um, maybe postponing the girls' final and running it at Toto's or something. Oh, really? like oh, they okay. were like, you know, because only three girls could compete in the final because yeah, yeah, the other three of us had hurt our knees. Mm. So they were like, you know, we can postpone it. It's pretty windy and the conditions aren't ideal mm. and we could run you guys at Toto's mm. at the next mm. event. But um, yeah, the girls just decided to go, go then. To go. And yeah, yeah, Paige Arms is amazing. She killed she was it amazing. out at Jaws. Like, yeah. She's grown up there, but she was in my heat. She was, she was saying that they, she would never paddle out if it was that windy or those conditions. So I oh, was like, oh. great. Yeah, so that's, that's a like, full psych out right there. That's some kind of Kelly Slater. Yeah. Just like, thanks but, for that. Yeah, right. Like, we she, really shouldn't be out here, but actually I'm going this way right now. Yeah, she <laughs> killed it. She, was she did. incredible. But, and she's world champion, which is awesome. So yeah. whoever won that event Yeah, was, legit. Yeah, for big sure. wave world yeah. champ. So. And uh, is that your aspirations maybe in the future? I, I mean, know. yeah. Maybe. It's yeah. definitely like ignited a fire for me to like oh, go cool. and like get a bit stronger and yep. work harder and train a bit more and mm. um, just because you know those people dedicate their lives to it and mm. I kind of went in pretty blind and I'd love to yeah. be more prepared next time. Yeah, <laughs> yes. but you are you've made it. Incred congratulations oh. on making the tour again. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Yes, I have. It's you and Jack Freestone, last <laughs> guys, last guy and girl in, which is fantastic for Billabong. I know it's like literally nothing new. I am like the queen of getting the last spot on oh, tour. You are? It's like I've been on. This will be my seventh year, and every year I've got the last spot. That's so, crazy. So yeah, I think it's given my dad a lot of grey hairs and my mm. brother some high blood blood pressure, and yeah, <laughs> it's not the ideal situation, but I've I've made it some. So stoke. cool. It just frees you up for the whole year. You know where you're going. You know what you're doing. Yeah. And uh, 
I, so you deserve way better than um that spot like um yeah i want to i want to try not i want to get better than 10th for sure yeah, i'm sure you will i'm yeah. sure you will so you'll be practicing um coming up to the gold coast yeah coming up early season well um i've got an injury still at the moment so yeah. i haven't been surfing mm. at i mean i tried to surf in my brace at honolulu for oh, the last did? event because yeah um i was kind of surfing to try to keep my spot but mm. i just couldn't really do it i it was just a bit too painful. I, I watched it. It did look a little painful. Yeah. yeah. You, could I, only, you couldn't really get tight. No, I couldn't. And unfortunately, the waves at Honolulu Bay were like oh, one, and foot. one foot. Oh, so you had and to get And it was like yeah. the most high performance waves ever. And I was yeah. like 10 days off it. Yeah. If uh, it was 8 to 10 MCL foot and barreling, you would have been yeah, sweet. I could have maybe just like gone, mm. tried to go straight. But um, yeah, I tried I tried to surf there. and um, But now I'm just on holidays practically. So you that's are. good. And you're in Hawaii a lot. And I know you're doing some shoots for Billabong. You're yeah. here for about a week and then you'll be home for Christmas. Yes, here for about another week and yeah, we've been doing a lot of fun stuff with Billabong and parties are epic and yep. there is a lot, a lot of fun stuff happening right now. So um, I am just pretty much watching the waves, kind of wishing I could surf, but also like excited to just kick my feet up and watch and, and enjoy and hopefully Pipe Masters will be very exciting. Yeah, so. you're keen to watch that? Very keen, yeah. Yeah, good. watch Joel and Yeah, Jack it'll be so good to watch all the guys and yeah, all the Billabong guys have been like brothers to me too. Yeah, and they are. Um, I forgot to mention, yeah, Joel, mm. literally a couple of years ago when we were um, up at, uh, here at, at, on the North Shore, Joel took me out to try to get me a wave at uh, back door and he ended up I paddling out there, yeah, and he ended up injuring himself and hurting his shoulder mm. because he was out there trying to get me a wave and then he, he like went a wave and ended up hurting himself. So. I was left feeling like so terrible, <laughs> but he's always been like so, so nice to me about yeah. and taking me at Chopu and trying to get me away yep. there last year and yeah, just helping me a lot. So oh, cool. him and Taj and all the boys are yeah. such, such legends. That's obviously Joel Parkinson that we're <laughs> talking about. And, um, the Billabong fam. Yeah, the Billabong fam is great and it's solid and alive. And uh, um, Joel threw me a question. Um, <laughs> he always does. Actually, you know what? Joel was my... Um, uh, my first ever Opcast, and you're my first um, girl Opcast. Ah, so yeah, it's really special. <laughs> Joel, um, yeah, she, like, we know you're into your fashion, and um, he wanted to know if you got any fashion tips for me. Oh, any fashion <laughs> tips for you? Yeah, maybe. I mean, I think we could maybe like bleach your hair or something. Bleach it? Yeah, it could be cool. Maybe yeah. like a short fringe. Short fringe. <laughs> <laughs> the mullet kind I of reckon, thing. I mean, you already got the man bun going on, so I, th I do. pretty sure you're killing it as of now. <laughs> um, um, yeah, well, like Bruce Owens has <laughs> got the blonde hair. Yeah, I could I know. do that. Yeah, because I'm actually, there's a couple of I reckon even there. like some like, gold grill or something. Gold grill. <laughs> some braces. <laughs> Big like spacer in your ear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic. Yeah, it's all endless. It is endless. And no, um, oh, you're an icon. Oh, Surf thank style, you. everything. Oh, thank you, Laura. <laughs> um, so, 2016. Yeah, like we talked about, you're still on tour in 2017. We've already talked about your. Um, you definitely want to get in. You know, top five. So let's say top ten. I mean, it'd be incredible. Definitely, yeah. I'd love to just you know get past that number ten spot, mm. <laughs> but um, yeah, the girls on tour right now are surfing incredible. So they I've are. got I've got a lot of work to do and just want to get everything dialed and mm. go in swinging. I guess trying yeah. my best. Yeah. Did you um? Who's your favourite surfer in girls? Um, Steph Yulma has to be my all-time yeah, favourite surfer. Mm. She's just. I even watched her the other morning. Um, I stayed with her a few nights ago and watched her surfing Pupik Air on like a fun board in the morning and just. Her style is just so effortless and it's like an iconic style. So it's, um, yeah, she's definitely my favorite surfer. Yeah, she has got a beautiful style. Oh, and she hasn't just she? is like such a beautiful barrel rider, too. Yeah, she is. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and the men, who's your favorite surfer? Men, I think. Joel. You? Oh, thank <laughs> you. Oh, no, no. no yeah, without me, yeah. Okay, well, you are like all of our favorites because oh, like we grew you, up watching Laura. watching Ark forever mm. but um Mick and Joel yeah Mick and Joel. for yeah. sure mm. can't go past them I just everyone I guess that's grown up at Snapper is just the best <laughs> yeah yeah so um another question that I I got sent to me and it wasn't my question but okay. um your love life have you got a boyfriend I do have a boyfriend at the oh, you moment do? Cool. yes and he's Sydney based or? yes we actually went to primary school together and oh, wow. yeah he's from Narrabeen and okay he he surfs and does music, but he's yeah he's awesome. Okay, what's his name? His name's Jake. <laughs> Jake, and yes. you guys living together or? Um yeah, kind of living together yeah. in Narrabeen, Narrabeen now. Yeah, cool. 
no, it's been oh, it's been really cool. Nice. And, I mean, we both have really busy lives, but we try to just make it work. Make it work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sure there's a lot of guys out there that would be <laughs> bummed about that, but that's great. It's great that you're happy. And Thanks, um, any other questions? Come on, <laughs> Jamie, give them to me. How long have we been? It hasn't been that long. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen? Yeah. Time flies it's when you're having it fun. Does, it does. And oh, and it's a beautiful like, it's sunset. It's been like raining here the whole time in Hawaii, and today we have like the best day ever for your Opcast. Yeah, it is. They like, knew. It's been raining for four days. The sun gods knew that the Opcast was on, so yeah. they were like, let's put and a beautiful we, sunset on. We can just it. probably talk a little bit about what we've done today, because uh, I, yes. to, I took the guy from Entourage um, yep. surfing today, and you took the girl. Um, Beck Tilly, she was from The Bachelor. So yeah, so you took her yes. for a surf. Did she, how'd she go? Um, she actually killed it. She's a good goofy photo, which mm. you are very happy about. And yep. She pops up really fast and she was charging. She was, going. She was just super, super scared of sharks. Oh, was she? And so we didn't tell her that, um, po is it Poana Point? Poana Point. Poana yeah. Point is like, you know, kind of in that harbour area where like mm. maybe a lot of sharks could be. If and the water was brown, wasn't it? <laughs> and the water was kind of brown, but <laughs> you know, I just told her there's only turtles here. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. And she had a great time. Oh, that's good. And then we went and had a really nice lunch at yeah. uh, Aloha, I mean, Hello Joe's. Joe's. And Everyone stole their Mai Tai cups. So they did. Yeah. A couple of Mai Tais. Yeah. And we're all good. So, Laura, thank you and good luck next season. Thanks so much. And uh, yeah, I wish you all the best and um, good luck with your big wave career too. I know. You Hopefully, got a big I don't future. lose any more friends over it. They're all just like, you have lost your marbles. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, crazy girl, Laura. And Emma, thank you very much <laughs> thank you. for the upcast. We'll see you guys later.